Good morning, friends and fellow witches. Let's get downstairs and see what we have. Uh, oh, we had nothing in here. And we have nothing that's going to go in there. All right, that's fine. At least we're moving quick. We got our fasties on. Let's go check out what we had in here. Um, right, we were still uh, waiting on some stuff. Nice pile of things. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to do at this point is... Uh, Yeah, so I, I don't know what the uh, the optimal spacing is, if I've like got too many here or what this story is. No, no, I just want the hive. Because, uh, yeah, okay, so that one tells me that it went up. That That's good. And uh, there we go. This one's really cooking. And that one's doing well. Okay, so these ones, the older ones are starting to produce more. I have no idea <laughs> what the logic is. Um... Okay, well, at least we got some stuff here. And those two are not... Yeah, we don't have enough things yet. Fine, but we do have more stuff here. Let's go around the yard. Forgot we had this thing still uh, equipped. The uh, the magnet. Let's magnetize everything. A uh, good comment that was left in talking about, um, you know, upgrading early on to just sort of higher level stuff uh, was buying gold from, uh, oh, there's two mice now. Is there always two mice? I feel like they're growing. Um, going and uh, buying a, uh, I think gold from Francis was the comment. Which would make sense, uh, as he is the jeweler. And, uh, yeah, and then just kind of skipping up to the, uh, the gold pickaxe right away. Then just plowing through. Okay, there we go. Little little pad for you. Not at all startled. Probably. Oh, this one. Okay, there you go. Oh, no, no, no. You. Yeah, you too. You also want food? I gotta go buy more food. This is deeply problematic. Alright. Okay. I don't know what happens when we get, like, max friends. They're, uh, they... They go and mine for me and stuff. Hey, kitty, how you doing? Oh, such a good cat. Okay, bones and crickets. That's cool. Get our mushroom here. Now, yeah, let me think. What do we have to do? So we're finishing off that the farseer stuff. We're just waiting on honey, really. Oh, and the loom. Build a loom to uh, weave. Okay. Um, silk thread from Silkworms, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a Friday. Okay, well I should go buy some more food. Uh, let's go check out all of the... So... The loom. Okay, so I didn't build one of these yet, right? <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm always very cautious now. I'm like, did I already make five of these? Probably. I don't think I did. Okay, so we'll put that there. And then, um... Is it, are we still... Yeah, right. I need to... I should go, guess, maybe use that advice and just go and get uh, the thing from Francis. So, uh... Cloth. Right. There we go. So who do I have to go now? Tell Thomas we wove our own cloth. Let's go do that, and then we'll go and get our um, food as well for the chickens from uh, Marty. Is there any... Nope, no flowers. Okay. Hey, buddy. Here you go. Look at this. I did it! I wove my own cloth. Well then, you're good to go. I sell mine to the general store. Oh, sure. Lena's the best. Yeah, she is the best. Uh, buyer in town. Always gives a fair price. She'll take any dyed cloth you make, too. If you want to make your own dyes and dye the cloth, you'll need a dyeing bath. Here is a blueprint for a dyeing bath mm. to dye the cloth and recipes for the dyes themselves. The dyes can be made by crushing up the ingredients in a mortar and pestle. I guess you can have a couple of my dyes too. Thomas, 
Thank you for all of this help. I really appreciate it. I know. Like I said, I promised your grandma I'd pitch in and I will. All right, so we've got uh, some dye recipes. We got, it's a whole. Okay, dye bath. Can, uh, now we constructed in the shed. That's really cool. He's now an acquaintance. Good to know. Marty's standing around here. He isn't. Uh, Thursday through Saturday closed. Okay, so that's problematic. Uh, what do I have in my... All right. The Thomas, he went, oh no, there he is. I wonder, what can I buy off of him? Okay, recipes for vegetarians or cotton seeds. Huh. And then, we'll buy that recipes for vegetarians book. Ooh, new recipes. Nice. Soy milk can now be crafted in the juicer. Okay. This makes more sense now. We may have seen that previously. I just wasn't paying enough attention. Um, okay, nothing up there. Well, let's just go and see if there's anything down here to vacuum up. Nope. Just the set of the wicker man down there. Let's go over to the other beach. And see if we can... Uh, get anything. I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. I wasn't hopeful. We got a pearl shell thing. Bruno's doing his thing. I think I'm just gonna run back. That's what I'm gonna do. It's getting dark already. It's only 2 p.m. This is like some horrible daylight savings nightmare. Okay, so yeah, we got good stuff here. All right, and I had some more cotton. Beautiful. Um... Okay, and then I can make, and then, uh, okay, I can't make any more there, but I can plant a little bit more cotton, and then we'll do a bit more cotton, which is kind of nice to do. And we can go and, uh, well, I want to get a bar of gold, so let's go see what we can do with that. Since uh, I'm not able to do this uh, otherwise, it would seem. Hey, buddy. What do you have for sale? Whoa, let me do the, uh, turn myself around. Okay, um, buy a couple here. That's not the most expensive. Oh, give us their... Oh, I need 12 for the gold pickaxe. Okay, yeah, you totally probably worth doing, but I need three grand for the pickaxe anyway. However, uh... Okay, yeah, I don't need... Oh, wow. So we could, uh... We could make some more silver ingots. Make a few here. All right, and then I just sold all my copper to her, didn't I? Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna need anything, but whatever. How are you doing? Have you oh. got my silk then? Not yet. No, oh, if only I was the type to wear posh silk pants, I could have sewn them into parachutes. Wait, you're saying you would have turned your underwear into... For science? Do you know what Cameron said he was craving the other day? Avocado mash. I literally cannot think of a food that has less flavor. One of these days I'm going to make him a proper curry. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I don't think I... That no, no part of avocado mash sounds good to me. It does not sound like an appealing thing. Um, let's see here. Our metalworking table. Can I make that now? Uh, yeah. Okay. This is cool. Also, I got a dying bath. Uh, hmm. 
My shed's getting a little busy here. Seems like these two things should probably be together. Now notice we don't have any more blank spots. I have a funny feeling we've now learned the uh, the end of our our possibilities. So silver amethyst ring. Um, okay, I'm going to try this jewelry making biz. And I'm just going to make some stuff. Uh, I'm guessing he's it's Friday. I mean, is he working until five? I'm now kind of curious what these sell for. And then I guess I can just keep... Oh yeah, we can sell this. Buddy! Glad he's so close. Okay, so the, the pearl rings sell for 80 each. The gold pearl ring sells for 90. And the amethyst ring, the silver amethyst ring, sells for 105. So buying our gold at 90 probably doesn't pay out for that specific thing. Um, hmm. And then he would buy silver ingots or, uh, as well at 38 a piece, which is not bad. Uh, he'd buy a topaz for 65 a piece. But I feel like the silver topaz jewelry is probably, probably better. I don't know. I have my brain's like, hmm, there's math involved, and it's Friday at 440. Not really, but it, it, it may as well be. Okay, let's see here. What again? So 33 to 6. Right, okay. So I need a tons of iron ingot. As much as I can muster. So 30 more bars of iron ingot and a punch, bunch more wood. Okay. Gotcha. And then uh, keep up with that. I don't think I'm going to... She's... Yeah, she's... <laughs> the sign is swinging in the wind. She's closed up shop, but what I can do is come and uh, do some tree massacring here. As we'll work on this then. Yeah, that's nice having all of those uh, just vacuum up. Uh, so if we're getting 10 at a time. I don't know, what do I need to get? Like 10 trees or something? I don't even know. I think it looks like I'm about to trip on wood. And then clear out this here. So, well, we're on Friday, uh, Saturday, so yeah, well, I'll be able to feed the birds tomorrow. And then I think I have just enough to get through the next day there, so yeah, I've got to be careful about that. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, sure, let's get rid of this. It doesn't seem to matter whether or not I get rid of all the trees in my yard. Okay, so I have 160. I don't remember what it was now, but we have more. And I also need more silver ore. Uh, yeah, we are definitely low on the, the food front. Is there anything I can make here? Let's go. Um, hmm. See with our, our restorative tea, I need yeah, I need more flowers. I need more thistle and more moonflowers. Um, let's go out and just check out what's going on out there. I'm gonna get in trouble for not going out. They're gonna send me a registered mail demanding something. Show up or else. You're gonna lose your witchy license. We can grab some more moonflower. At the minimum, like if I keep up with this, at the minimum we can create like the restorative tea is great. So there we go. Thistles are coming in. Uh, I suppose this is another good reason for this uh, potion is that you can't accidentally miss things as easily, which is kind of handy. I like it for this for sure. 
Uh, and I, speaking of missing, I just ran past some thistles, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mandrake, sorry. I don't even know. What am I? Okay. And I guess we should go attend uh, a meeting here. Go put in, uh, go put in a good word. Lay down a vibe. Tell everybody how we're doing. Okay. Yeah, we got four mushrooms. Absolutely. Everybody's all good. Y'all good? How you doing? We should update the covet offerings from just milk and honey. You know, it's just not very twenty-first century. Maybe we should try offering hoverboards or a gamer chair. Definitely. Gamer chairs are all the rage with the witch crowd. You give those out of your coven meeting and people will be flocking. You'd have too many new members. You'd have to turn away the witches. Uh, hey kid. Congrats. On what? You're not the newest person on the island anymore. So you don't have to worry about the twins messing with you. Oh, I hope that Mr. Emerson guy is ready. So I'm going to guess, I'm just going to go on a limb, is that she's actually the one running the coven. Um, this whole town is kind of on her payroll. That's if I, I don't know, I've got to think outside the box. I feel like whatever I think is going to happen is probably not what's going to happen. It's going to be something completely random. Okay, everything's good there. Yeah. Let's go see. Did I end up getting anything that's useful for my... My tea making. No. <laughs> I got some of those flowers, but the I end up getting mandrake. Okay, I don't remember what that was even. Something, something, something. Um We got all those good vegetarian recipes now. It's our vegetarian section of my ooh. Right, we can we can cook some noodles. That might be yummy. What else can I make here? Oh, look at that. I need, uh, but what if I don't want to use beef? Can I just not? I feel like I made these and they didn't give me very much energy. Oh, I have, okay, I have, I, I don't really want to eat that. That sounds that deeply unpleasant. Uh, And those peanut things didn't give me hardly anything, <laughs> so I'm not going to do those. I don't know what uh, I really want to do here. I'm not a big fan of any of these options. I mean, it'd be nice if I could make a tofu, but i got to make some soybean milk. Oh, I guess I could go see in my shed. So what do I... Uh, where am I doing stuff here? There we go. Oh, that's my glass kiln. Okay, i got to get my... My press. Oop. This little guy right here. Right, so now I can make soy. If I put edama, uh, soybeans in there, put uh, some edamame in there, I'm, I'm flying. Yeah, I like the juice. The juice was a good situation, but I'm going to have to work on that some more. Um, I got out of curiosity again. What was my one bar of yeah? Oh, you can tap a tree for sap. Can be used on maple trees to produce maple syrup. Oh, that's very handy. But I don't really have much in the way of materials. There's a whole lot of that going on right now, isn't there? Okay, and then my my cloth. I can make some red cloth. Sure, let's try that. So it just has to sit there. Gotta brew it up. Then I'll be able to make some cloth in the basement, I'm guessing. Is that here? Where do I make the jugs of cloth? Oh, there we go. Nice. Purple dye. Oh, that's cool. Huh, very cool. And then I don't want to use up all those. Okay, powdered calcium. Bone meal. 
So what am I missing on my speed boost? Oh, seaweed. That's not good. I've, I think I've gotten spoiled, is what's happened here. Yeah, I think I'll, I probably will. I'll make another one of those. Okay. Oh, that's for my boost harvest. Okay. Alright, so let's get back out here. Now, what would I want to put boost harvest on? Um... Oh, I already boosted the harvest, okay. Okay, and then what else do I have here? Oh, that's just my flowers, right? Now, can I go, like... No, yeah, right, okay, I can't put, like, a potion on any of those. No flowers. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything for you. Uh, I don't have a potion. Right. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Get to bed. Get to bed. Ooh, so tired. Yeah. Yes, go to sleep. In real life, I, I would be out by like 11, 11.30. I, there's no way I could do this on a daily basis. Like, oh, summer Fairhaven Summer Festival is today. Head to the town square. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I definitely, uh, I could not do this. I mean, I, I could get up this early, no problem. That's, that's fine. But, uh. No, nope, I've lost my capacity to stay up till one in the morning. Another chicken feather. I'll need to buy oh, some more okay. chicken. I like that it tells you I'll need to buy more feed for Marty. I'm gonna need to hire security so the chicken doesn't have me murdered. Cause that's what's gonna happen. Okay, let's grab. We got some grasses there. What do we got? Grasses, flowers, mushroom. Um, okay, let's go the beach way and get to town square. And then nothing there. I need some more seaweed for something. Okay, we got some bananas. That's all right. We can make, make some banana juice. I don't know what we can do with the banana. Good, got another conch shell. Okay, enjoy the festival. When you're ready, speak to the mayor to proceed to the nighttime beach celebrations. Happy <laughs> summer festival. I love a good celebration. It's an easy way to um, get together with everybody here. Uh oh. I have seen that look in your eye before, Finn. <laughs> it's nothing. I just <laughs> put shaving foam instead of whipped cream on the mere slice of cake. <laughs> hmm, nice kid. Good, good guy. I mean, the mayor what does seem kind of terrible, but. This is, Lena. Yes. I like to think my ancestors would be pleased that we haven't forgotten them. Hi, Emmy. Had some popcorn? No, just three pieces of cake and some s'mores. Summer festival is the best, the best. Wee! 100% accurate. Uh, it might be even more loud and boisterous. Having a good day, Sebastian? Hurts you. Ugh. My sister made me help her haul over all the sunflowers this morning. I'm gonna be sneezing all day. How's this gang doing? I was talking to Juliet, and she seemed so sad to be going back to school soon. That's a pity. I always loved school when I was growing up. 
fine day, eh, Parker? Always is. Sad that all that perfectly good wood will be going up in smoke, though. This festival is so fun! Eh, it's fine, I guess. You should have been here when my dad was mayor and my mom was captain. <laughs> that was a slamming party. Here's some popcorn. No butter, and we ran out of salt. It's great. Thanks, Thomas. All right, we got rewarded with our popcorn. Happy Summer Festival Day! Of course, I like the winter one better. Well, there's no mistletoe in summer. <laughs> Marty, can buy chicken feed here? Oh, I love summer festivals. Picks of bonfires always blow up on social. <sighs> I love a good bonfire. Just staring into the fire and thinking about, like, deep stuff about life. Totally, and then just burning stuff, and then, you know, uh... Maybe I should continue out here. I'm always curious if people, if someone's, you know, hanging out in the periphery or... Everybody seems to be here. All right, Vanessa, what's going on? Do they have a summer festival in Milkwater too, Vanessa? Yes, but it's far less charming. There's a big parade and a carnival. Just a loud mess, really. Hey, Mira. Here's Con. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I always am, of course. But I could really use your help. My clinic is out of cotton. Again. Any chance you're growing any cotton on your farm? Four bunches should keep me stocked up. Sure, but it might take me a few days. Oh, thanks. Oh, no. I, I used it all. <laughs> Whatever I had. Excited for the festival, Amira? I suppose. I just hope Damon is sparing with the libations. I don't have enough burn cream if too many people get close to the bonfire. I'd like to say that kind of thing is, is not real, but I definitely have at least uh, one family member that's fallen into I a bonfire. So, town too often, but it, not like a huge these, fire, but well, uh, yeah, libations. I think it's worth the noise. Funny custom, a summer festival, but then all holidays are relics of a superstitious, more primitive past. The cake is good, though. There's cake? Where? Like right beside him. No, dude, I don't want to talk to you. You don't even know where cake is. Enjoying the festival, Francis? I'll enjoy getting my partner back. He's been coming home in a cloud of powdered sugar every night. I don't know, that sounds, that sounds pretty good. I mean, who doesn't want to hang out with somebody covered in powdered sugar? Hey, buddy. Whoa. Angus. That really is a huge strawberry shortcake. Thanks! You get extra since you helped. Although, Cameron has been telling us that we really shouldn't celebrate the summer festival, since it's a folk tradition. He says old superstitions block our way to the summit. Maybe this will be my last year. <laughs> Maybe we could just take him to the end of the wharf and just, you know, I, I'm just saying, these cakes might be denser than we think, and how's it going, Damon? summer! Who wants some wheat ale? All right, I know who's falling in the fire today. My gosh, everybody slow down, slow down. I can't wait to see the bonfire, Sophia. I know, it's even bigger than the one Vanessa put together last year. Uh, not that it's a competition. But if it was, I would win. <laughs> All thanks to your help. Hey, Kim. Having fun, Kim? Yep, there's nothing I love more than forced communal merriment. Pretty much. Hey, Juliet. Why can't we have the summer festival inside Kim's store? They keep the AC blasting. The butcher shop is the most interesting place on the island anyway. All right, I guess we're ready to start, I think. Okay, well, dude. isn't everyone just having the grandest time? Do you think it's time we head to the beach for the nighttime celebrations? Okay, let's all head to the beach. 
Oh, what can I do? I talk to him like a human now? It's nice that school is out and I get Vanessa to myself a bit. She really gives so much of herself to those children. Even the ones who are a bit more... difficult. Alright, I'm just... I'm gonna run to get away from him. I'll see you all at the beach. It's gonna get a bit of a head start. Oh. Hi! everyone. I'm so glad you could all be here. There's one thing I want to say before the party really gets started. Every year, the captain of the summer festival crowns a summertide star. The star is someone we want to feel special and appreciated. So, this year, I wanted to crown someone who's only been with us a few months, but has already been through so much on Fairhaven. Tara. You will always be welcome here. And I'm making you the Summer Tide Star so you'll never forget. Oh, Sophia. I already thought it was going to be him. That's so sweet. Even though Hazel's passed, we're all still here for you. Let's get a round of applause for Tara Wild, our Summer Tide Star. Now, go on. Take your seat and enjoy yourself. Time to light this thing. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Sophia. Gosh, what a blaze. That's very on fire. <laughs> Is a bonfire supposed to be that big and, um, fiery? In any case, I'm so proud of this community for coming together for yet another wonderful summer festival. Ah. It's hard to follow in Mrs. Soft's shoes. Well, hello. What? what? Did, did I fall and it hit my head? Ah! A human! Hold on. Tara Wild? Is that you? Yes. Uh, but, but who are you? You're familiar, but I can't. Oh, buckles and buttons! It sure is, Tara! Ariel, if this is a prank, I'm going to blast you. You think I did this? <laughs> I like a good joke, but I know the rules. Which? What have you done? I didn't do this, I swear! Sophia just named me the Summertide Star, and I... ended up here. No. We haven't called a Summertide Star here for generations. The townspeople forgot us long ago. Teleportation magic is advanced. It's not something a new witch could know. But if she didn't send herself here, then who? Again! What? Who were those people? Were they even people? I, think I don't it's a crab. think anybody saw. Otto is still talking. Did time even pass here? And I would like to say one more thing. We must remember that we must all unite to keep Fairhaven safe. And that is why I am announcing the founding of the Fairhaven Culture Committee. The Fairhaven Culture Committee will preserve our history and champion our unique culture and values. Whose history? Whose culture? Well, I've run my mouth long enough. May the rest of the summer be bounteous, friends. I'd better go see if the Coven knows anything about whatever just happened. Now the sun begins to wane. We celebrate nature's gifts and ready ourselves for the harvest. Farseer, uh, you know the Fey folk you keep mentioning? I think they teleported me to their magical village in the middle of the summer festival. I told you to pay your respects, didn't I? One of them was short, with pink hair, and another one was covered in fur. The third had, I can't believe I'm saying this, backwards feet. What was that place? <laughs> On some nights, the walls between the worlds become thin. There's more than one world? Shh. You won't be able to journey back there the same way again. Well, how can I get back there? My boat would be the proper way. But I don't have a boat. Of course you do. In the lake by your farm. It was Hazel's and bonded to her Aunt Vivian before her. Always been there. You just didn't have eyes to see. 
Alright, task complete. The, uh... I think, um... Thomas said it best with his, uh... His comment of, uh... Whose culture, whose history, whatever it was. Uh, that's very fitting. Wow, okay, that was interesting. That was, uh... I guess we can go donate some peanuts. Nobody has a peanut allergy here. Oh, Don't no, I didn't want to... standing stones. Our coven has kind of a bad history with them. The standing stones, what is that? Alright. So what time is it? 8.30? Well, we can go get some goodies out here. Oh no, nothing. <laughs> is it canning? Okay, no, there's new stuff. There we go. Let's go. Peanuts. Yeah. Uh, the plot thickens. I, I like, I, I don't know. I feel like it's Shelby is the, uh, the dude with the, the white hair. Not Bruno, but it, it could be anybody. I mean, it could be Sophia. Just wearing a mask with some hair. It's like a, a fringe mask. Got some fringe hanging or whatever you call it. You know, hanging out in front. I have no idea. Every time I think I have a theory, I, I think I've just given up on having real theories. The mayor, though, I suspect, you know, again, a, his talking about history or culture, all that, he does seem to be somehow bracing himself against the um, Cameron a, in a way. And so is he allied with the, the coven or... I don't know. So I'm intrigued. Okay, so let's go and make a couple more here. Sure, we'll do this. Um, yeah, I don't really know what the best strategy is going to be for all this, but get some stuff planted. Okay, so I've got, um, we'll boost that cotton. And what else do we want to make? I'll make some more corn. All right, and then water this one in the middle. So, oh, okay, I'm going to put in put the strawberries here. How about that? This one I'll put in more corn. There we go. Oh, come on. No, I want to water the middle one. <laughs> Definitely, I, I'm not the best at hitting these at the right point. I, yeah, it's interesting. I, I'm surprised you can't hop over anything. Okay, now these, now these sugar cane are... We can harvest these things. Okay, that's good. So let's put in some flowers. No. Yeah, you sugar cane. Okay, so how are we looking? That honey's moving. Oh yeah, that honey's really moving. What this honey though? Is this stuff moving? Yep. Okay, it's all moving. Yeah, this uh, this stuff is not moving at all. Nope. I don't know. I, I maybe I have. It has to be facing. Is that a thing? Oh, uh, you. Okay, there we go. No idea. So we'll find out if that if that in fact makes it a little bit easier for the bees to get uh, out. <laughs> Alright, well, let's take a break, and next time uh, we'll continue on with our adventure here. See you then. Bye-bye. Yeah.